In this House of Logic video, we're going to integrate Proxmox notifications with Slack. Now, the first place you want to start in this is within your um, Slack um, uh, configuration. So what I've done is I've set myself up a small um, Slack organization. I don't typically use it, um, but, um, well, who knows, that may change in the future. Um, so what I've done within here is I've created myself a notifications channel and um, I've done some testing and now I'm going to demonstrate. So you want to go to api.slack.com and from there you want to go to your apps. And if you haven't done this before, you need to create an app to allow you to um, to integrate with um, the um, uh, the actual um, uh, Slack messaging system. Um, so we're going to go and do this, and we're going to go, I think, from scratch, if I remember correctly. Um, yes, that's right. So let's go with um, demo application, and the workspace we're going to choose is the House of Logic blog, and then we're going to go and create the app. So now that the app has been created, and don't worry, this won't exist by the time this video is uh, is out there in the world, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go down on here to incoming webhooks. Now within incoming webhooks, you have to activate it um, using the toggle switch there, and then you now, now need to go and add a new webhook to the workspace. And this is then asking us where we should post it to. Now, I've already set up a notifications channel, so we're going to use this. And then we've clicked allow. Now, uh, it's actually telling us exactly what we need to do in order to post here. So this is very straightforward. You can now copy the webhook URL. Then within Proxmox, over in data center, underneath notifications, you can now go and add the webhook. And we're going to call this one Slack demo webhook and we can now post in the URL <coughs> excuse me uh, as for the headers it actually tells you on this uh, on the slack page what you should include and if I find out um, web browser again I can show you so it says here you need content type application JSON so we will copy that and then we'll go back over here and paste that in. Then for the body, it is expecting the body to uh, be JSON formatted. Now, um, what you need to do at this point is you need to uh, find what you want out of the um, out of the Proxmox um, information about the uh, notification reference, which again, I've lost in my many, many open windows, um, and that you can find under here. So using, as it says, the handlebar syntax, you've got the title, you've got the message, severity, timestamp, and the other fields, etc., etc. We're just gonna go with message for the rendered notification body. So I pasted that um, in there. It does need to follow after text, and I will include this um, on uh, GitHub and uh, link to that in the comments on this video. So now click on add. And then what you can do is then you can click on the test button and then that should hopefully send a webhook. And there we go, successfully through to Slack. So if we open up Slack again and go into the notifications channel, we should see that underneath we have um, as of 7.47 uh, a.m., which is the time now, this is a test of the notification target Slack demo webhook. So that's what you need to do there. Then within uh, the notification matches, now what you can choose to do is you can either modify an existing one um, or or add a fresh one. In fact, let's add a fresh, let's, let's have a look at modifying the existing one actually. Uh, you can choose targets to notify. So um, I previously demoed the Teams webhook on here. Um, so now you could in include um, the Slack demo webhook on here as well if you wanted. Or you can add another notification matcher. Um, let's call it. Um, Slack only perhaps and underneath that then you could choose your match rules so we'll go with the field of notification type and um, let's go with uh, let's go with replication again and uh, targets to notify choose your Slack demo webhook there and uh, and then that's that 
Um, so now in the event of any of those notifications occurring, the webhook will fire and the information will be sent through um, to you using the um, using the notification matter and webhook. Okay, and um, that about rounds out for that video. Um, so thanks very much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe if that's your kind of thing. Otherwise, we'll catch you next time. Thanks very much. Bye now.